So we have learned what is props and how to use props. We use props for passing data from one component to another component. To be more precise, we use props to pass data from parent component to child component. And to do that, what we do is on the component, we create attributes like here for this product details component. We are creating this price attribute and this is available attribute. So with these attribute names, a property will be created for this props object. And then we can use that property in our JSX expression. Now, a very important point to remember here is that this props object has a special property called children and that children property gets assigned with the value which we write within the opening and closing component tag so here this product detail is a self-closing element here so instead of using a self-closing element let's specify a closing tag for this product details and inside this let's say i write a paragraph element like this and here let's say this is a demo so this jsx code so this value that will be assigned to the children property of this props object and to see that after this span let's go ahead and let's use curly braces and here let's say props dot children and if we go to the web page here you will notice that that paragraph has been displayed for each of these products after this badge. Okay, so remember that this props object will have a special property called children and that property gets assigned with the value which you type within that component within the opening and closing element of that component. Here if I change this paragraph to h2 element in that case can see that h2 element has been rendered here in place of this props dot children all right so i hope with this example the concept of this children prop is clear to you now where can we use this concept so let me first remove it from here and let's also remove this h2 element from within this product details now here if I go to product details component, you will see that in this product details component, we are using this button element and this button element. And on both of these button elements, we are specifying the same bootstrap class. The only thing which is different here is the value which we are using within the opening and closing button element. So for this first button element, we are using this minus sign. And for the second button element, we are using this plus sign. So here what I will do is, I will create a new component called button. So here inside this components folder, I am going to create a button.js file. Okay. Now inside this, I will create a function and I'm going to call it button. And let's also go ahead and export this button component. From within this button component, we want to return a button element so here i will go and i will grab this button element okay and i will return that button element now instead of using this minus sign here we know that every component is going to receive this props parameter and every props parameter every props object will have a children property so here I will use that children property so I can say props dot children okay now inside this product details dot js let's go ahead and let's import this button component so at the top let's use this import statement and we want to import button from button dot js and here, instead of using this HTML button element, we are going to use our custom button component. Okay, so here let's say button and let's also specify a closing button element here. And here let's specify minus. Let's copy this and let's use it here as well. And here let's use this plus. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page 
and here you will notice that we still have this delete product and add product button but to display these buttons we are using a custom button element now what will happen if you specify a children attribute here on this button element and let's say you assign it with the value maybe 2 to 2 okay so in that case whether the children property of this props object will be assigned with this value 2 to 2 or with this value which we are specifying between the opening and closing button element well in this case also it will use the value which we are specifying between the opening and closing button element okay it is not going to use this value and to prove this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and you will notice that that minus is being used here but if we don't have any value in between the opening and closing button element in that case this value will be assigned to the children property of the props object so now if i save the changes if i go to the web page you will notice that now we have this value 222 okay so the value which we write within the opening and closing element that will get preference if that value is not present then only the value assigned to the children attribute will be assigned to the children property of the props object keep that point in mind now let me remove this attribute from here and here let's use this minus this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it